Back in Austin, time now for the men's 200 freestyle. And the world record set back in the Rome Championships of 2009 by Paul Biederman. And Michael Phelps has the American record set in 2008 in the Beijing Olympics. And our start list features three Japanese swimmers. That includes Naito Ihara down in lane eight, a bronze medalist in Rio, swimming in the 800 freestyle relay. And of course, we already had wins earlier in this meet from Shinri Shiohura in the 100 free, Diaseto 100 fly, and 400 IM as we just saw. And we have two other swimmers front and center here. Fuyu Yoshida is on the right of your screen, at the left of your screen in lane four. Subasa Amai to the right in lane five. Yoshida, 19 years old, Amai, 22 years old. It's a great quintet of swimmers that Japan has sent to this meet. It's just another example how the Japanese have really come on, and every year they're just so consistent. Uh, you just know what you're going to get out of them, and then having the Olympic Games in 2020 in Tokyo is just going to motivate them like there's just no tomorrow. I, I, I can attest to that, to have a an Olympic Games in your home country is pretty special. I swam in '84 in LA and and won a gold medal. And uh, well, it was it was it was an incredible moment to be able to swim on your home soil. It's like playing a Super Bowl in your home stadium. And uh, over the next four years, these this Japanese team, both the men and women, are, are going to be very very dangerous. Rich Burke along with Rowdy Gaines. Here's the men's 200 free. As I said last night, the United States has been number one in the world of swimming since 1956. Well, in 56, the game for Melbourne, and that's when the Australians came out ahead in the medal count. And, but the, the Japanese have done the same thing. There's only been a handful of Olympics, and maybe two or three, I don't know exactly, but only two or three Olympic games that the United States has not come ahead in the medal count, Rich. And one of those was back in 32, and that was the Japanese team that came out ahead in the medal count. So they've been able to do it. That's the consistency they have had year after year for the last 100 plus years. The Japanese swimmer with the lead at the first turn did not Yoshida or Amai. It was Naito Ihara, the 23-year-old, who won the bronze in Rio and the 800 free relay. And he built a pretty good lead here heading into the halfway point. Not quite a body length over his countryman, countryman in lane four, Fuyu Yoshida. You really only take away a couple of the very best Japanese swimmers that competed in Rio, and virtually the entire team is here. We saw Kabori in the B final just a minute ago. He was part of that 800 freestyle relay that won the bronze medal. And now Ahara, who has the best time of anybody else in the field, was also on that relay. And all of a sudden, there's another Japanese swimmer coming up in lane number four, and that's the top qualifier, Yoshida. 19 years old, looking to back half his teammate Naito Ihara and Yoshida coming on strongly here as we head to the final 30 meters. Only five, there are five different countries that are representing the eight. Only one American, and that's Levant up there in lane number one. He's not going to win it. It's going to come down to a very close race. Levant only 17 years old. It's Yoshida in lane four. Lane seven, Marcos Lovato of Venezuela. Lovato, what a finish to finish in first 148.9 the 25 year old Venezuelan who took third in last night's 100 fly represented Venezuela in the London games and it's his personal best by a full second what closing speed for Lovato what? indeed what closing speed that's like David versus Goliath in a race like this a guy that nobody expected to win his best time was slower than anybody else in the field except for Levant up in lane number one. Here's the Hunter turn. Well, there he is right there. That's Lovato, who is nowhere near. He turned third, but he was nowhere near Ahara. And then you've got to think Yoshida's whose best time is at 148.7. Amai, whose best time is 147.5. Ahara, who's 41, been 146. You think, well, nobody's going to catch Ahara. Nobody's going to catch the top qualifier, Yoshida. But slowly but surely, there goes Lovato. And what a way to put his head down. Didn't breathe the last five meters. And then a great win, a second faster than he's ever been in his life. And Marcos joins us down on the pool deck. Marcos Lovato of Venezuela, congratulations on the win. Really finished strongly there. Did you know where you were in relation to the rest of the field? Oh, I, I didn't know. Uh, uh, it was unexpected. Well, I think uh, 
when when you look when you looked at the clock, did you realize how fast you went? Did you realize you that you went 148? No, no, I I was expe I, I was expecting 149. What are you What are you most excited about this summer? Budapest, Hungary, maybe the yeah. World Championships. Yeah, the World Champions, Budapest. So you represented your country in London in 2012, and then yeah. the Worlds in Kazan, Russia, 2015. What does it mean to you to represent Venezuela? Oh, it's, I'm really proud. Uh, I'm happy with, with this work with my coach. Uh, I want to say thank you to them, to everybody. Well, that work is paying off. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. Marcos Lovato out of nowhere <laughs> to take the men's 200 free. Fuyu Yoshida second and Subasa Amai in third. Wow, what a great finish for Lovato and what a great moment for him and for the nation of Venezuela. We've got the women's 200 backstroke coming up next.